As you can see here, the top and bottom terminal covers are hinged and easily snap open. And once open, you can see each terminal is labeled on the unit itself. However, the unit does come with labels that fit inside of the clear terminal covers, and that makes it a lot easier to identify each terminal. Now to remove the terminal covers, we just gently bend them, and then they come right off. Now let's zoom in on the bottom terminal block all the way on the left, and here we can see the power terminals. As this is an AC powered model, we have terminals for L1, for neutral, and for earth ground. To the right of that, we have our first set of output terminals. This particular micro is a relay output model that supports both AC and DC. Notice that outputs 0 and 1 each have their own VAC, VDC power terminal. So they're each isolated from each other and the rest of the outputs. If we look at outputs 2 and 3, they share a single power terminal, as do outputs 4, 5, 6, and 7. As we move to the right, we see outputs 8, 9, and 10, 11 also have a common power terminal, as do outputs 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now let's move to the top terminal block and go all the way over to the left hand side. As we can see here, the first two terminals are for a 24 volt DC power output, and this unit provides up to 400 milliamps of power. Now this power source is often referred to as sensor power, and it should only be used for the input circuits. Moving to the right, we see our first four inputs share COM0, which means they all need to share a common power source. Now if you're wiring in a push button or other hard contacts, that'll be simple enough to wire, but if you're going to wire in transistors, then you'll need to make sure that all four that wire to these four inputs have the same output type. In other words, they're either all MPN transistors or all PNP transistors. Now as we move to the right, we can see inputs 4, 5, 6, and 7 all share COM1. And as we move to the right and look at the rest of the terminals, we can see inputs 8 through 23 all share COM2. Now the Micrologix 1200 also comes equipped with removable terminal blocks, and I'll go ahead and remove one to show you how they work. Okay, let's speed up the video. Okay, now you can see here in the terminal block, the screws that hold it in are captive. And you can see the bottom row of terminals has a clear finger safe cover. Now let's take a look at the bottom terminal block. And we can see it's pretty much identical to the top one. Let's go ahead and reinstall these terminal blocks. Now one tip I will say when you're putting these in, put the first side in only halfway, then screw in the second side. And then finish off the first side. If you try to put the first side in all the way, the terminal block will be at such an angle it's very hard to get the second side in. And now we'll reinstall the terminal covers the same way we took them off. And that's it for our tour of this Micrologix wiring terminals.